Hi everybody, my name is Barry, and welcome to Boners with Barry. It's my second episode. Thank you, McStud, for letting me do this. But first, we have to have a tasty beverage, he says, and I got a clickety clack on it like this, and he calls it the beast. He says, if I drink one beast, I'll be putting grandma to sleep later. So let's, let's, I, I don't know, that sounds a little weird, but anyways. Happy Friday, everyone. It's Michael Bolton Friday, I guess. Michael Bolton Friday is where you put on Michael Bolton music and you get, uh, Erections and you get to put them in a lady. Cool. Mmm. Oh, that's a shadow. I thought I had a rash. Anyways, I hope you guys had an amazing week. Also, McStay let me wear his nice glasses. Well, not really. I just saw him laying here, so I thought I'd put him on. So, he, he might, he might be angry and beat on me later, but that's okay. Anyways, I love this show because I get to talk about one of my favorite things, and it's hard ding-dings, or we call them boners, I guess, too, or some people like to call them erection selections, which I don't really understand what the selection has to do and what erecting a building has to do with a boner, but you know what? It's okay. We can still talk about it, but I just had a quick question. It's going to be a quick show because um, he's making some steak tonight for dinner, so... Um, have you guys ever gotten a boner while pooping and then your ding-ding just kind of forced its way onto the toilet rim and rubbed against it? You know, I did this a little bit ago and I got, I got scared. <clears throat> um, so I had to have Grandma come in and help me push it down so I could finish peeing. And then she wiped me off with some alcohol wipes. And that, that's a very refreshing feeling. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, boy. Um, have any of you ever cleaned off your no-no areas with alcohol wipes? Or those cool rocks with bleach wipes. Um, they might sting a little, but I've never felt cleaner after using those, for real. You know, I did have some bloody stools one time, but I think that's because I tried to check my prostate with the Clorox bleach wipe on my finger. And the bleach ate away at my inner poop tube a little bit. So, uh, it healed up, I think. <clears throat> I, was, uh, I was at the Planet Fitness the other day because I'd been walking backwards on the treadmill. I'm trying to get in shape, and I found out, like, through Google, that if you walk backwards on a treadmill, it really builds up your deltoids, wherever those are, and um, your pecker muscles. So I was like, okay, let's do it. So and I got all sweaty, and I took a shower afterwards, and I got a boner in the shower. So I decided to take care of it. <sighs> but then I got yelled at because the other guys in the shower didn't take too kindly to my boner management skills. So then they set off the lunk alert alarm, and I'm like, I am not a lunk. I wasn't groaning and moaning while I was lifting. Um, but long story short, I'm now banned from the Planet Fitness. So now I just got to walk around backwards in Grandma's basement, which I guess is the same thing. And I think in Grandma's basement, to pay $8 a month. And did you guys know that if you get a boner in the Christian bookstore, that they will pray for you? And apparently you're not allowed in there anymore either. I don't know what the, the big deal about uh, boners is. Because it's a completely natural thing when your ding-ding gets harder than a bee sting. And then um, you spray uh, boner mucus everywhere. Um, but I, I just find that being around people and having boners uh, doesn't make them very happy. Really, and it's just weird um, because you're all here because of boner, partially, for the most part, um, and because, you know, when a, a male bee and a woman bee get together and their boners connect, you know, we get the birds and the bees and people. So, yeah, anyways, I think I'm going to get off here. Grandma, that me love better be done! Wait a minute, done! Make that fucking goddamn steak! I'm sorry. I forgot I'm used to meatloaf and now I'm excited cooking steaks. Anyways, I'm Barry. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all later. Bye.